I know, I'm getting ready. He's getting ready. <laughs> so you came from Connecticut? No, I came no. from upstate New York. Uh, the MS. But because of the MS, it's different. <laughs> okay. So, this is a dark field microscope. Your blood is in between two glass slides. I did not put any stain or any chemical. That's why it's free flowing like this. It's still spreading. Now, in this dark field microscope, we have several magnifications. This is 100 times. Later on, we're going to switch to 500 and 1000. So you can see the structures of the cells. So, these are your red cells. The circle one, the red cells are the ones that give us oxygen and nutrition. They should be separated. Yours are clumping together, which is an indication of dehydration and poor circulation. So remember, they are the ones that give us oxygen. So if they are clumping together, then oxygen cannot flow freely in your system. Now, I know, but sometimes that's the uh, comment of our patient. They drink a lot and yet they don't absorb. Okay? Or sometimes it's the electrolyte. The electrolyte is not balanced. So. Okay, and remember, New York is sea level. We are higher elevation. Our air is thinner, so it's very hard to breathe. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, aside from that, red cells, we also have these white cells. The white cells are the soldiers of our body. They fight infection, whether it's bacterial, viral, or fungal, or we alert your system if you're exposed to something that you are sensitive or allergic to. In this frame, I know I got the message. In this frame, five is normal, and you have a lot of these white cells. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 25, 20, 24, 25, 26. Wow. Now that is, and I'm, I'm going to take a picture of this also. So that is 26. Have you just eaten? Terry is talking about these dots jumping around in the background. Yeah. That can be lipids, cholesterol, triglyceride, or undigested food. Now the red cells should be uh, separated and these are on top of each other. And they should be round. If we see cells that are pointed like this, those are indications of allergy. Now, in the dark field microscope, we can tell you there is an indication of allergy, but we don't know what you are allergic to. It's only from the, um, to confirm it, you have to do a blood test or a urine test to confirm which foods you are allergic to or pollens or chemicals. Now also, if you see this rolling ball inside the cell, yep. some are brighter, some are darker than the others. Mm -hmm. That is an indication of liver stress. Our li your liver is still working. Our liver is our main filtering system. So because of some prescription medicine you are taking, like antibiotics or some other prescription medicine, your liver is congested and it needs to be detoxified. Okay? Now we have several ways of detoxifying. Oh, you have high blood pressure? I'm on high, high blood pressure medication. Mm -hmm. I forgot to one? say that. I was in the hospital and I told them I think my Lyme disease is active because my blood pressure was 197 over 1. Wow. Uh, 28. Are you dizzy? And no, what are you, what are you saying? Norbus? Uh, uh, no yesterday I had all, uh, bisulfur uh, twice a day. Okay. And I also am taking a for my Mantidine? MS fatigue. Oh, okay. So. Now, these two are white cells. Mm -hmm. They are called neutrophil. They are white cells that fight bacteria. So later on, we're going to look around if there's any other types of white cells that I can show you. Now, if we see cells that are abnormal in shape like this, that's a, that is an indication of oxidative stress, which means cellular lack of oxygen. Because your red cells are congested, your body cannot put, uh, cannot um, they cannot distribute the white the uh, oxygen in your system. Now these of different shapes and sizes, those are platelets. Now uh, we need platelets so that when we are wounded, the bleeding will stop. But too much of this, or giant platelet, is an indication of inflammation. Okay, let's take a picture of this. 
lymphocytes are white cells that fight viruses. In the dark field microscope, since we don't use any stain or chemical, we cannot really see the viruses. We can see some bacteria like spirochetes or mycoplasma, but the viruses we cannot see. However, there is an indication that this is fighting because this is the cell and this circle around is called viral encapsulation, which means it captures the virus and kills it. It can be as simple as cold flu virus, Epstein-Barr virus that makes us tired, Coxsackie virus, yeah. so it's also in the air, okay? Cold fibrins, and fibrins are indication of inflammation and toxicity. Again, because your liver is congested, your body cannot detoxify fast enough. And if, even though the patient is using some detoxifying supplement, because you're taking this prescription medicine, you are also taking in some chemicals. Right. Okay? Okay. Now, if the patient is warm, <laughs> they are spirochete bacteria. Now, Oh, uh, that's, there's a lot in that well, one. Well, that's the thing. We can tell you it's a spirochete, but we don't know if it is Borrelia that causes Lyme. That, but that's how they look like. So we cannot diagnose using the microscope. However, spirochete is a family of bacteria, and one of the members is Borrelia that causes Lyme disease. Well, they're, they're But you have a lot in here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a ton. Is it? Yeah, there's a lot. See yeah. that look? Tiny little one? Some are longer, no. some are uh, shorter. It depends upon. This is only a day. drop of blood. So we have seven liters. I'll put it in higher lens. Let me just take so. a picture of this so you can see. see. So that's what they do. They tell you have chronic Lyme and send you on your way. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> see those, slowly uh, deteriorate. Looks like, looks yeah. like worms. Okay. Now, how do they, they multiply? Uh, these are the adults. What they do is they go inside the red cell and lay their eggs or spores inside. Once it matures and your immune system is down, they will break the cell wall and will come out as baby spirochetes. That's why some of them are longer, some are shorter. Okay? Now in, in this, you can see this one. You see that they are moving at the edge. That means they are already breaking out. Now. Some patients, uh, we, we test these and they have, they have like this, you know, but some we test their relatives and friends and they have more. Oh, I make you cry. No, but I'm, it, I it depends, it I'm depends crying. upon how your immune system is. So everybody has, a, has some bacteria or some parasites or, or viruses and your body can fight, but they will come to a point that your body cannot fight anymore, that you need some help. Now, our experience, our patients, they have gone through antibiotics for years and years, and yet they come here and they said they, they don't have any help. In fact, they do IV, they have thick lines, you know, like that, okay? So, these are the adults. Now, you see this small circle here? Yeah. Okay, that can possibly be mycoplasma. Mycoplasma is a bacteria that can cause respiratory problem, coughing, sinus infection. That nagging cough that doesn't want to go away, it can be from that or it can be from allergy. Now, if somebody sneezes, that is the bacteria being spread around. Okay? So, you, you, you flew, right? The airplane? I did. So, it's a recycled air for sure there are yeah. some bacteria in there. Right. Now, if you see this, like these cells are thinner than the rest, this is thinner, that is really an indication of cellular lack of oxygen. I smoke a little bit. Yeah, I can smell it. <laughs> I'm sensitive to the smoke, this I can smell it. Now, unfortunately, smoking can block your oxygen supply. Right. That's the thing. Right. And I know it's okay. very hard, but what you can do is you know, cut down. Yeah, I'm not yeah, smoking down. Yeah, take CoQ10. <laughs> that indicates toxicity. And then this one, a 
aside from this liver stress, there's something in there. It can be a bacteria, a parasite. Now, the I don't know how a doctor can look at my history with my arthritis and everything I have going on with me and not know I have. Well, unfortunately, the conventional medicine believe in doesn't believe in chronic Lyme. Once you are beaten by a tick, they will give you antibiotics. For 21 Af days. Yeah, after that, they said you're cured. I know. It's crazy. Yeah. But that's why it's called... Oh, have you uh, the read our book? No. Okay. The he doctor did test is positive. Oh. And then... Oh yeah. Then, oh yeah, you are really uh, exposed yeah. to London. And then not only and that... I think I had auriculosis with this one. I've had it before. And not only that, uh, usually we test also the uh, urine because if you 